Okay, so we are going to be start, you know, doing the neck. Uh, we actually have not really worked on the neck. And as you can see, I have, you know, added this reference that I found online. So we are just going to try and, uh, you know, basically try and get some of these details from this particular reference. In the end, the neck is not really going to be that important because we are not actually going to be able to see the neck because of all the hairs that we are. Uh, gonna have that's why you're gonna see that I'm not really gonna take like uh, that much amount of time to create it so yeah first thing first we can actually start uh, by choosing a reference where we actually can see the neck and in this case you can see a little bit of neck here uh, actually the wrinkle of the neck not the whole neck maybe in this one you can see a little bit of wrinkles so yeah, we are just going to take this one as a reference to create the wrinkles or maybe this one. Uh, I I actually kind of forgot how his neck is, how his neck used to look like. So we are basically just going to choose one of these and uh, start doing the neck. Uh, in this case, you can basically see all the details. We have two of these folds. One of them is thicker, one of them is thinner. And uh, in this particular case, there is one big fold in the middle. So both of them are actually a little bit different, you know, uh, you can see that two versus one fold. So you need to make sure that uh, if the neck is important, uh, just choose uh, whichever one is going to suit you the best. In this case, I think I'm actually just going to go with this one. And uh, before we do that, I think I'll actually just add the collar bone first. You know, add the collar bone a little bit, even though in the end uh, you're not going to be able to see it. But I think it still is a good idea. And uh, yeah, uh, let's actually start adding that. So first thing first, we can actually start by, you know, um, removing some of the volume to create that concave shape. Or maybe, okay, no, maybe actually I'm adding the collarbone first. Uh, you already can see the collarbone area, by the way, because of this base mesh. I'm just uh, adding a little bit of volume to, you know, make this a bit more sharper. So I am in the third subdivision because I'm actually working on bigger details. So I don't really need to be in the high subdivision. And uh, in the third subdivision, it would be easier for me to, you know, do the bigger changes in the sculpt. So yeah, you can see right now I'm just adding this, not adding, but subtracting this volume. And now I can just start adding these lines. Um, actually removing these uh, volumes and start adding okay you actually can see uh, what I'm trying to do in the reference and now we have to basically create all of the stuff that we are seeing now there is this muscle that I'm drawing and let me just uh, see the name of it Okay, so I have seen the name of this muscle. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. You can just Google it yourself what this muscle is called. And uh, okay, yeah, uh, this is basically what I'm trying to do. And uh, right now, literally, I'm just focusing on the focusing on the volumes, not really that much on the muscles. I mean, obviously, muscles are important. They You should not ignore them. But uh, with the muscles, I'm looking at the volumes. And uh, because I know that the neck is not going to be visible, so you're going to see that I'm not really going to focus too much on the neck, but still we are going to be doing it. Right now I'm just adding the volumes because I know there is a muscle that goes uh, around the neck uh, in this particular area. And uh, search it yourself, by the way, the name is pretty complicated. I'm not even going to try and... Uh, Right now you can clearly see uh, how there are three of these uh, volumes that are like coming from the top and uh, joining in the collarbone. So I am just going to try and do the same. So yeah, uh, one thing that you can see by the way, uh, if you were to just look at it, the neck is basically going inward. Like the shapes are kind of conical. In our case, it is actually in the opposite direction so I actually need to fix this right so I'm just gonna you know push this particular part in so that we actually achieve the similar thing in our case as well uh, because he's also old he's not gonna have uh, muscles on the, his neck 
and uh, because of that i'm just going to push this particular part in so that he also kind of uh, look like a bit or older so if he would have been a muscular guy maybe uh, the previous shape would have worked but uh, because he is older i feel like uh, uh making this a bit conical is actually going to work a bit better and that's what i've did even though the neck is not important i think it still is okay to you know fix all this stuff because in the end you never know also we're going to do all the details we are basically just going to finish the neck and uh, just to like uh, give you the idea how you would approach creating the neck uh, right now i'm just going to try and uh, you know sculpt the bigger shapes so that's what i'm actually going to try and do as you can see uh, after looking into the uh, reference i'm basically just trying to add uh, some sort of similar volumes uh, now these volumes are again not going to be 100% accurate because i actually don't care uh like literally uh, this is one of those parts you can cheat and you obviously should to save time and that's what i'm doing i'm just saving time so yeah you can see these uh, volume that i'm adding that uh, triangular shape and now i am just going to start adding volumes on the edges that we have uh, in the reference as you can clearly see uh, the volumes that i'm talking about Uh, okay, so now I'm just trying to blend in the volume that I've created with the skin so that it looked like that they are actually coming out of the skin. And uh, yeah, this is just gonna be how the neck is gonna work. Right now I'm, begging, I'm working on the bigger volumes, not really going into the details. I don't think it actually is like super important. And uh, I'm using inflate by the way because this shape is more spherical. And inflate does actually give you this spherical shape, as you can see, uh, with the sphere, with the inflate brush, you can pretty easily create this uh, spherical volume. So I think that's why knowing when to use your brushes is actually super important. In this case, uh, using the inflate brush is actually pretty useful, as you can see. You can also use the draw brush. Draw brush also give you spherical shape, but I think uh, inflate brush is definitely a bit better you know better brush in this particular case just trying to make sure that the shapes are much more spherical uh, that's why you can see that I'm using the draw brush to create these a bit more uh, spherical and uh, yeah um, you're also gonna see that uh, the Adam apple that I'll create uh, is not gonna be proportionally accurate but uh, I really didn't want it to fix all these small little details because I've already told you that I knew there are gonna be hairs and uh, because I knew it I knew how I kind of want the end result to look like. I could have, I was actually able to cheat it. So you're gonna see in the future the Adam Apple is gonna look pretty, pretty bad. Um, but uh, that's actually totally fine. Uh, this video's purpose uh, was not to, you know, add all these wrinkles. purpose of this video was to you know create the skin of the neck which we are going to be creating and uh, that way you will be able to uh, learn how to create the skin of the neck obviously so that's why this import uh, this video is important uh, sculpting in this video is kind of irresponsible from my side but uh, i think it's still okay you can like see how i am actually adding these volumes and uh, even though I'm not really thinking about the likeness, uh, I am like still using the method that I would have used if uh, I actually would have been serious about creating the neck.
in this case you can clearly see because this part is actually much more spherical I am using the inflate brush and um, uh, you can actually try using the clay strip brush but uh, sometimes for the situation uh, you have to just uh, change your brush now you can see for blending the uh, wrinkle in I am indeed using the clay strip brush but uh, if there is something spherical volume kind of foot thing that I actually need to add I always just switch to inflate brush okay now you can see that I'm actually trying to even break break up this particular wrinkle even though this is not like accurate to the likeness oh wait not no I'm not actually breaking up the wrinkle I'm removing some of the volumes from that particular area Okay, so I thought that I was breaking up the wrinkle, but uh, I was not. Now I need to uh, add that spherical feel again. So you can see again using the inflate brush and then smoothing that particular part out. okay now let's actually create this kind of a detail that we have uh, in the reference so yeah this is basically what I'll try to do next and uh, in order to create this obviously I'm not using symmetry and in this whole neck area even though I've uh, you know I've actually completed the skin I uh, again in this particular case because I wanted to save some time I didn't really like cared that much so don't get the wrong idea by the way I only did this because uh, you know in the end uh, saving time is basically what the main objective was but in the end if you feel like that uh, your neck is you know kind of important uh, just spend your time and uh, yeah again you can see that I am actually just gonna take inspiration from this particular particular reference and I'm actually gonna start adding these uh, concave shapes so that's basically the inspiration for these uh, even though they might not actually be true for uh, the, the reference in Amit G's but uh, because uh, this guy actually had it and I thought they actually kind of looked pretty cool so I just added those uh, again you can see with the skin and a little bit of more uh, sculpting uh, the face is actually looking pretty nice and uh, yeah uh, told you after you know breaking up the symmetry he is gonna start looking pretty nice and uh, he is actually looking pretty nice so that's pretty good now I think we are actually gonna create these horizontal lines that we have on the neck so yeah you can see that I'm using the draw sharp brush but the intensity is not as much and uh, also the radius is pretty big so these lines are not like super sharp I think before okay so these lines are not so, super sharp as you can see these are pretty like pretty fainted and uh, the idea is again to just uh, mark those first if there is a need to add the volume I could just add that later but uh, right now as you can see that I'm not really carving them in uh, this is basically just how these lines are gonna be uh, looking so yeah uh, that's what I'm doing right now nothing really like uh, extraordinary just marking these lines up uh, just like I've done before again you're gonna see me adding the Adam's apple and uh, that is gonna be a bit embarrassing but I I've actually I was talking about that by the way uh, in the original recording why I took the decision to do that uh, the only reason that I'm adding these lines is just so that I can show you what the workflow would be and uh, I didn't really wanted to add those because in the end they are uh, just kind of a waste of time but uh, yeah uh, I am adding these because this is a course and not a portrait that I'm doing just for my own and uh, just to show you how to basically do the neck I had to do I had to add these and uh, So uh, you can see these, this wrinkle that is pretty straight. I am actually breaking this up. 
so that there would be more variation in the wrinkle and uh, there would be you know interest to it because right now it is like pretty simple wrinkle and uh, yeah right now i'm just baking this up so that's what i'm doing right now again with the even with the bigger wrinkle like this i am actually trying to break this up obviously try to use reference actually for something like this because this is gonna be much more prominent and uh, people are gonna be noticing stuff like this so you know just don't break up the wrinkle if the wrinkle is not broken up uh, 100% have a reference for it uh, if you are doing uh, like change as big as I just did right now and now it's time to you know add the head of my apple so that's what I'm doing not gonna lie but uh, this is not the finest add of apple I've ever created I mean, you've seen Chris uh, Chris Hemsworth's portrait, right? Uh, his portrait was pretty good in terms of neck. Okay, so I am actually kind of done with the bigger details and I can just go into the skin now so that I can actually show you how to, you know, do the skin of the neck so first thing first you can see that i am actually using the direction brush and uh, this brush is basically the gold brush that we have created uh, i mean obviously all the brushes are important but this is actually one of the coolest one so uh, you're gonna see that i am actually gonna create uh, this directionality first and uh, there are gonna be two directionality uh, crisscrossing directionality basically i and uh, I am gonna be drawing that. I actually remember drawing the So one directionality is gonna be you know just following the lines that we have created on the neck and uh, the second one is gonna be just uh, perpendicular kind of perpendicular to this Right now I am actually smoothing out the edges for uh, the pores that are at the edges so that we'll be able to blend them nicely now you can see that I am actually adding those lines uh, in the direction where the uh, like the major lines are like the bigger lines so uh, this is gonna be the one direction that our skin is going to follow and then the second direction is let me just uh, complete this one first and then I can just show it to you so this is just the first direction and it is obviously the first pass you can actually decrease the rate by the way to you know get more of these lines uh, totally up to you uh, just experiment with the settings and uh, whichever settings basically works for you just use that in this particular case I could have also gone a bit a bit slower so that uh, uh, I would basically be able to get more of these lines but yeah this is just the first uh, layer and uh, now uh, after I'm gonna be done with this uh, I am basically just gonna change the direction and there are going to be some crisscross patterns happening so this is the first okay so I am drawing it right now this is like the first direction and that is gonna be the second direction so it is not a 90 degree perpendicular but uh, you can say it is like 30 or uh, maybe 40 degree kind of a thing I don't know but yeah you've seen the directionality and now you can see that I am actually just adding that you can see the second pass so the first pass is the first direction so the second pass is this direction or you can just count both of them in, in the first pass it is totally like up to you uh, so yeah let's actually say this is the second pass you know adding the second direction uh, is basically the second pass and again the skin that we are creating is just the pass thing uh, this is uh, what I'm doing right now after I'm done with that as you can see that I'm not really worried about adding something in the back because again this is just gonna be the waste of time uh, because I already knew that there is gonna be a beard I already said this sentence so many times but I'm actually just saying it again okay so now this is actually kind of important after I am done adding these lines you can actually go back like to subdivision and just use the multipore brush but this time uh, use it like uh, you can like use it in the board direction in this particular case I am gonna be using it in the board direction so first thing first 
uh, I am just gonna add to add it like this and because we are two subdivision low uh, all the details that we have in the pores are not gonna be there when it will actually go up in the resolution and uh, you can see that I can also overlap it so it doesn't really matter if you were to just overlap the uh, overlap the alpha and uh, if you were to just go up in the resolution you can see that we have created these small little dots that the neck usually have of older people so this is basically what we wanted to achieve uh, with this brush and uh, like you can see all these uh, things like all these dots uh, I don't think they are actually considered uh, okay wait I think I'm talking about how the texture is actually stretched uh, where there was a change of angle in the sculpt so yeah I could have actually uh, fixed it but uh, again I think I'm talking about that because the neck is not that important I'm not really gonna fix it so this is uh, the, sec uh, the third pass sorry this is the third pass of the neck and now the fourth pass could actually be uh, wait am I gonna do it or not okay I think I'm gonna do it so the fourth pass is uh, just uh, using it just using the uh, brush normally uh, but in the lower subdivision you can either go to fifth subdivision or the fourth one uh, because I have six subdivision by the way so this is totally up to you and you can see that I'm actually adding it uh, normally now again you don't really need to worry about the intersection of the brush you can like overlap these alphas and it is just gonna work fine and this is like the fourth pass I think yep this is the fourth pass of creating the skin for the neck and uh, like you can see that I'm overlapping it with the pores itself so it is totally fine uh, you can in the end just blend the skin up afterward and uh, yeah you can see how the skin is looking uh, again I'm not gonna do the whole area trust me it would have looked uh, so much better if I would have just done the whole area but yeah now only thing that you need to do uh, you need to basically carve this line a bit more deeper and uh, try to you know uh, make multiple of these lines and have as much randomness as you possibly can as you can see that the symmetry was on so I had to redo, uh, undo it and now I'm just gonna redo it again wait do I have to say again if I were to just say redo it I don't think you are supposed to say again so yeah now I'm just gonna redo it and yeah this is basically the process of neck and uh, I am not I'm just showing it to you I'm just showing you right now uh, but uh, I'm not really gonna be finishing the sculpt because I don't really have to uh, but yeah you can like see how I am like creating some of these randomness and uh, the skin is obviously been created and uh, what we've done with the previous like uh, skin we can actually just start adding these lines and right now I'm just like carving the bigger lines in and uh, after that you can also just make your brush a bit smaller and start adding some of the random lines and the directionality as well by the way in this case we have not uh, like I mean we have added the directionality but it was just to create some crisscross uh, kind of a thing and you can see in the linkers we have not uh, really created the skin as well but uh, yeah this is again just to show you that uh, how you're supposed to create the skin and uh, this was the process you can see uh, in the neck area the skin is looking pretty nice but on the wrinkles itself that we have like sculpted the skin is not uh, obviously perfect because again I've told you uh, it's because the neck is not uh, really that important in this particular case so yeah um, again now I'm just like trying to complete the skin part and uh, this video is uh, just gonna be me doing this even though I think I've already explained everything now what I'm doing I think I've just recorded doing some of the neck because it is kind of satisfying to you know sculpt like this so I am just going with the flow you know just carving some of these lines a bit more deeper and uh, I think I'm also gonna start blending the pores with the uh, with the skin on the jaws It's just say if I didn't do it in this video uh, then uh, I think I'm probably gonna be doing it in the next one. So I mean you can clearly see the portrait is looking so much more nicer. Uh, 
now that we have actually you know started doing the skin and also we have uh, removed the symmetry so i think i mean i am actually kind of happy with how the portrait is looking not gonna lie i uh, obviously had the doubts when i started recording it but uh, yeah this is obviously looking nice and uh, in the end the right the render is also nicer so yes we are definitely gonna get there and now you can see that i'm actually adding the directionality so uh, you can see this you can like uh, think about it as a fifth pass or the sixth pass i cannot remember how many pass i have counted but yes directionality like giving the directionality is obviously one of the most important aspect of doing the skin and uh, you can see that i'm also going a bit harsher on the neck because uh, i think it is totally okay to do so and uh, yeah that's basically what i'm doing i was not as harsh as i am right now on the neck by the way uh, on like the other part but uh, because this is neck uh, you can actually just go a little bit harder on your strokes so yeah this is basically how the neck is and now as you can see i'm just doing the same thing i'm just gonna pick a few of these li lines and just gonna carve them a bit more deeper to you know create some of the randomness and some natural looking wrinkles i think i'm gonna start uh, blending the pores or maybe not uh, this is this is actually a problem of, do of doing the voiceover when you have content of approximately 60 hours you actually forget uh, what are the things you're going to do next and uh, what are the things that you're not going to do but as you can see i think i'm actually starting to uh, blend uh, things a little bit Uh, once we we'll start uh, adding the directionality to, to the pores that we can see on the above, uh, it is just going to blend pretty nicely. And in this particular area, as you can see, I don't really mind if the pores are overlapping or not. Uh, because again, uh, this is just me trying to blend the skin and uh, the skin is blending pretty nicely uh, through which I am doing. And also, uh, once you start adding some of the directionality with the direction brush, uh, the blending is just gonna hide all the overlapping of the pores so yeah that's what i'm doing actually i'm just now fixing all this stuff right now i thought that i'm not gonna be doing it but uh, here i am just doing it uh, and uh, yeah you can see that uh, just adding the pores actually have blended the skin pretty nicely now you can just use your direction brush and then go over go on top of these to you know add uh, some of the blending basically or the transition and uh, the transition that we don't have right now uh, i mean you can like argue that we have but yeah you can like see that uh, if you feel like that the pores are uh, coming a bit too strong uh, the neck pores you can actually just start blending them in with the directionality brush but yeah this is basically what the skin is and uh, this video is also about to end in like uh, I think in a minute so before that you can see how I'm actually using the direction brush to basically start adding a little bit of uh, transition but uh, okay so now I have literally abandoned that and now I'm actually going back to adding a little bit of details onto the wrinkles which uh, I didn't really had to by the way but yeah this uh, is basically what the process is for the neck I think it was actually not really that complicated we've already uh, you know, uh, like we've already used this workflow in the different areas and uh, yeah, we this is basically how it is. Uh, now the only thing that is left is to just start adding some of the lines uh, if you really want to. Like I am adding few of these right now and uh, yeah, like you can see these lines, uh, these uh, like just pick few of these, you know, carve them a bit more deeper and uh, then you'll be done. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think that I actually have anything else to say because we are uh, actually done with the neck. I think uh, this is basically where the video ends and I am gonna just see you in the next one.